make a drastic modification to the center spar. This leaf spring here turns out to be unsatisfactory, mainly because I haven't found a way to control it, to, to be able to set the maneuver, and uh, I haven't found any way to achieve lateral control. So I've had to put my thinking cap on and uh, go back to square one and think of a new system. For a few weeks now, I've been scheming and experimenting and thinking and now I feel I've come up with a, a viable solution that does away with the sleeve spring and uh, achieves some of my original objects. One thing I wanted to achieve is for this spring or what spring that's in the system for pitch control to have a reverse gradient. This spring doesn't, it's just a plain spring. To make the modifications I have to remove this center spar here. This tubular sting has to go and be replaced with a different type. This center spar tube has to go and be replaced by a different arrangement. I've completed a workable control system. By the control lever here, there's a quadrant that keeps the uh, distance from the pivot axle the same for every angle. Spectra control lines lead forward to where the spar pivots. Pro lines wind around this threaded rod here, which screws into this rod end, moving the control lever, moves this pivot point. It only needs to move it a very small amount. My calculations using my spreadsheet program show that half a degree is the sort of movement one needs. The balance spring will be connected to the top pin here and will cause the spar to rotate with different uh, air loads.